let's start off with your view of the sentiment around the Nigerian markets right now and what sense you're making of the movement we're seeing at the moment. Um, the sentiments around the market right now are investors that are taking profit. That was what happened sometime last week. and. Uh, as the profits went out, the market uh, suddenly took a dip. But thereafter, we suddenly saw an upside, which we want to attribute to the allocations that came out from the federal allocations, and as such, with the system being awash with liquidity for the time being. Also, we are seeing some other foreign interests taking positions. But majorly, we think investors are doing a, um, fundamental and technical plays to their games as to when and how they come out of stocks and positions. So profits are taken and little rises are keenly watched for opportunities. Well, Kose, undoubtedly it's the banking sector that remains in the spotlight at the moment and uh, earlier on, you know, we were looking at CBN controlled stocks all uh, starting to gain. They're getting confidence that's reignited within uh, within that space, certainly in a context where we've got South African banks like First Rand and Standard Bank showing interest in acquiring stakes in some of the uh, some of the failed banks. How are you reading the developments we're seeing there? in terms of consolidation we could be seeing in the sector and foreign players uh, buying up stakes? Uh, because the CBN has made this uh, open, they are welcoming uh, interest from other places. What we will be seeing is um, the level of uh, discussions that will be coming up soon because most of these um, banks, even though they are down, still have their immediate shareholders who will be reaching out to decisions as to their recapitalization. And uh, when this is done, for foreign interests to come in, there must be some level of discussions at the very top. Besides that, the other game that might play out might be some uh, forceful entries, which we, as the market is down, would have given them opportunities to have uh, taken good positions on some of these uh, companies. So if these things are put together, we hope that uh, at the end of the day, those with interest in line with their own uh, objectives and the objectives of these present uh, banks in these present conditions, we come to terms with what they want to do in the market. But we seriously believe the interest will be really streamlined as to the operations objectives of these foreign interests. Kose, is there any speculation are, at this stage of who likely targets uh, are at this stage of the game? Um, if um, for some of the banks where they've stated their uh, focus, their focus direction, we will be seeing them move. They, they, they won't be looking at the banks that have uh, had issues recently. So they might be going to go into some talks or by focus their objective strictly on the banks that are okay for now or are relatively that were able to go through the stress test and are fine. But how that will play out is what we are still trying to pick out because if they have this um, narrowed down uh, focus, getting into these banks will really call for some uh, level of uh, uh, smart play because uh, the banks won't just open up as they are okay on their own and they are not really begging for any support at the moment. At the moment, it's still the start of the year and investors are trying to locate uh, you know, the best entry point for stocks. Where do these lie in your books, even if we look outside of the banking space? Well, for now, investors are playing a very fine game. What we've seen them do, they've taken positions as to um, technicals and fundamentals, and this has uh, given the market a new rhythm. So the, the, the point there now is uh, what the companies are doing. Some of these companies, we've seen them do reversals as soon as they make uh, statements as to streamlining, that is cost-cutting. And at those points, they made a reversal and made some 
uh, significant progress. But what we are still looking for in the marketplace right now is companies that are reporting uh, volume uh, growth. These are companies that are still doing well, and these are translating to their earnings. So not just earnings that are being um, reported as a result of streamlining, but earnings as a result of turnover growth. So in that line, we'll, we'll see most of the companies that are based in the defensive sector still doing very well and still attracting investors' interest.